Welcome back. Uh, for this lecture, before you begin, you might want to check down in the bottom of the YouTube uh, channel. There will be a posting for a couple of links where you can get some worksheets uh, and some handouts and things like that to sort of help you better um, take notes and sort of guide you through the material we're going to talk about today. Um, today, what we're going to talk about are the two branches of statistics. One of the common ways of sort of thinking about statistics is that they sort of serve two different purposes. The first purpose uh, or the first branch of statistics that serves one purpose is called descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics does pretty much what it sounds like. It, it describes statistics. It sort of summarizes them. It summarizes, in particular, sets of numbers. So it takes a large number of numbers and, and it sort of condenses it down into something that's easy to understand or easy to think about without having to think about every single individual score in a particular group. And so a good example of this that you're uh, obviously um, probably very much aware of is a mean. A mean, right, or, or an average, basically tells us where the center of a group of numbers is. So batting average, uh, the average uh, income of Americans, something like that, shows us sort of about what the average uh, or what the sort of center of a group of numbers is. So it's a way of thinking about if we have all of these numbers, what's one number that sort of brings it all home, right? Condenses it, makes it easy to think about. So that's one of the ones that you're probably very familiar with. Another one that you're commonly familiar with is called the range. The range is just the spread of the numbers, right? So it's the spread from the smallest to the largest. And you probably learned about these things uh, in, uh, in school or in, uh, in high school or something like that. So this is the first. This is what the people are the most familiar with. <laughs> these are also, to be frank, the easiest computations that you're going to do. Now, this is just one way of sort of thinking about numbers. Very, very useful, um, but it is not the only way to uh, use statistics. Another way to think about statistics, or another way to use statistics, is to use the branch of statistics called inferential statistics. Inferential statistics uh, do something that's, in, in a way, much more interesting, more complicated, uh, but also incredibly useful, and it's really the sort of backbone of all of psychology. So in inferential statistics, the goal is uh, not to summarize data, like in descriptive statistics, but inferential statistics allow us to generalize from a sample to a population. So it allows us to sort of think about uh, how what the what the population is like given a very very small sample and it does something else too which isn't the sort of textbook definition but this is what makes it really really sort of cool uh, if you can nerd out with me for a minute inferential statistics are the branch of statistics we use to test hypotheses So this is the branch of statistics that we use to determine if two groups are different from one another or if, if a treatment had an effect um, or if people got smarter after taking a YouTube course in statistics or something like that. This is the branch of statistics that allows us to do it. So this is a very, very useful branch of statistics. It's also a branch of statistics that, to be frank, you probably haven't really heard of before. <laughs> the closest you probably heard about it uh, and weren't even aware of it is sometimes called the margin of error. The margin of error, right, is basically uh, the amount of uh, variability um, within a, a poll or something like that from the average that they get, 
So let's say that a certain politician has a 52% approval rating, plus or minus 3%. That plus or minus 3% is the margin of error. It's where they're fairly certain, and we'll get into this more and more, uh, where the actual sort of population mean falls. But it's based on a sample, right? And they're trying to understand a population. Uh, but inferential statistics, like I said, people are not so familiar with. The computations are much more intimidating, um, but it is, in a way, incredibly important and incredibly useful because it allows us to test hypotheses. So this is a major, major branch of statistics. All right, that'll do it for the two branches of statistics, and I will see you guys in the next video.